Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to our Montreal Canadiens Be a GM mode here and I missed a couple of things last episode. People were telling me Galchenyuk is now at 87 overall. 21 year old, high elite potential, 6 goals, 18 assists this year. Not really, you know, absolutely ripping it up but he's definitely not doing bad for a 21 year old to be 87 overall. He is going to be something special for our team. We also have something to do in the A. AHL as well. A bunch of you guys were telling me to make Condon the uh, the starter in the AHL and get Eddie Pasquale out of there. He's 25. He's a low AHL starter. There's just a lot of people want me to start Condon ahead of Eddie Pasquale. So we can go ahead and substitute him uh, for Eddie Pasquale and then we can go ahead and he's already scratched so that's kind of perfect. There he is. 72 and a 75 going forward. He is listed as a high starter. He's listed as an other goalie right now now. So again, he's probably going to get the backup role and we're going to get Condon there to be the starter because who knows, maybe he could be a AHL starter for the next couple of years, but I definitely want Zach Vakali to get some ice time. So we'll put him right there and I do have auto goalie rotations on. So we have one big long comment here to go over and it pretty much says this, Galchenyuk's natural growth has him up to an 87 now. I bet with his boosted offensive stats, Patch already would tear it up. His growth is also likely in the season why Semen started producing more consistently. Maybe try rearranging the top six so that Pacioretty, Galchenyuk, and Semen are on a line. So let's quickly try that out. So how does that look? How do you guys like that? It's a right wing. We can move Devonta Smith-Pelly there. How do you guys like that? They're both 23, Gallagher and Devonta Smith-Pelly. So how about this? Pacioretty, Galchenyuk, and Alexander Semen. That's not too bad. Alexander Semen could be a 25 goal guy for us playing along Psycho Chenyuk and Pacioretty, that could be a pretty deadly first line, and then you got more of the grindy, but still can put up some points for the second line. That's not too bad at all. And he also says here, Placanic, Gallagher, and DSP would produce more offense, as well as Cassian, dump him for a pick. Dude is a cancer in the locker room, too undisciplined to produce a consistent offense. Move De La Rose to the third line, either get a young grinder to throw on the fourth line, or grab a defensively minded veteran to put there instead. I really, really really like that trade. Again, Cassian, honestly, he doesn't really fit on our squad. So that means that this guy wants to eventually have someone there uh, and then get a new fourth liner or put De La Rose on the fourth line and then have, uh, have, have a better third liner. So that's pretty much addressing the stats right now. We have no player meetings to go through. I'm going to wait on the Cassian trade. I'm going to put him on the block though. I'm definitely going to put Zach Cassian on the trading block though 100% he is definitely going to be the player who I want to get rid of not Nikita Sherbeck at all uh, where is he this is, the thing is he really has no trade value so yeah I'm gonna see what we could get for him I'm not gonna say we're gonna trade him right now or anything like that but definitely can put him on there as a trading asset so Zach Cassian and what do we want so let's put what we want here we want Nikita Sherbeck is glad he's off the trading block and obviously Zach Cassian Cassian's upset that he is on the trading block, but we want a, maybe let's get a third line checker or a third line scorer. We'll make two. We'll put a third line scorer for right here. He's got to be at least 20, 23, 23 to what? We'll go 23 to, uh, 23 to 30 years old. He's got to have minimum three star potential, uh, all that good stuff. Contract doesn't really matter. He's got to have a pretty good shot. Three star shot at least. Puck senses got to be at least three and a half. Puck skills got to be at least three. Pretty much everything has to be at least least three. Skating, I want to have a pretty good skater, three and a half. Physical doesn't really matter for this point. Defense, three stars would be kind of nice. So we also want to get a, uh, a defensive third liner, uh, third lining checker. So again, we'll make pretty much the exact same thing. 20 to, we'll go 20 to 32. Uh, Minimum, minimum potential three. I don't really care about that. That's fine. So let's see if anyone kind of brings us with some trades throughout the next couple of months. But for right now, I'm pretty happy where the team's at. We are third in our division. Not bad at all. We have, uh, we're getting out of December here. 
into a new year, into 2016. So we got the Bruins up next, who are a big divisional rival. Got the Flyers, got Pittsburgh. We'll still send the game against uh, against the Chicago Blackhawks. They don't have a very good record, actually, but we're going to keep on rolling here. Hopefully, we can string some victories together. 4-2 loss there against the Bruins. Come on, those are easy divisional points we should be, we should be snagging. Uh, let's go back to the WHL. I think we had everything once. Let's go defensemen now for three weeks. There you go. Let's cover the forwards, cover the defense, and then we'll cover the goalies. Ouch! What's going on here? Uh, we got a waiver claim, actually. We could get Nate Gwen, who is a 79, seventh defenseman, 79 overall. The thing is, I want to see his cap. It is uh, 800,000. So, you know, you know what? That's not a bad player to have in case of any injuries. So, since we've put Galchenyuk and uh, Alexander Semen on the first line, we've yet to win a game, and our goal production is really, really really down. As you can see there, two goals against the Bruins, uh, one goal against the Flyers, one goal against the Devils, and one goal against Pittsburgh. That is not a hot start at all. I might change things back to the way they were. Uh, we got to check the morale here. We got two players who want to chat with us. PK Subban, he says, I'm glad you're taking my talents into account with the excess ice time that I'm getting. That's good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. Added a positive effect. Alexander Semin, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you can do better better. There you go. Got to give him some positive effects. There you go. So, Carey Price is a leader, obviously. Everyone else is neutral, and Brendan Gallagher is a leader. No one's really taken initiative to be a uh, to be a presence in the room yet, but I'm definitely going to make some changes there, because we've, we've honestly only scored how many goals? Two, three, four, five goals in our last four games. That is unacceptable. Maybe putting our, uh, our Big guns on one line isn't the best idea. Alexander Semin obviously can score goals. He hasn't scored a goal since being on the first line. You know what? I am going to go back to the way that it was. Maybe keep Galchenyuk on the first line. He hasn't done anything either. I'm going back to the way it was when we were scoring goals and we were winning games. I'm going back to that. Yeah, it would be nice, but you know what? I'm going back to the way that it was. We'll slow some the game against the Hawks. Don't want to play it. I want to slow some it. Actually, kind of a cool opportunity to look at our stats. 90, 91, 95. So that's pretty sick there, but I definitely want to slow stim the game against the Hawks. Let's go. First period against the Chicago Blackhawks. Nice original six matchup. Let's go. And first period, 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, period number two. Nothing after the second period. Let's go, period number two. 1-1, uh, Zach Casting and P. Kane. Period number three, overtime. Oh, shit. Going into a shootout. There you go. We get a victory again. Only scoring one goal, though. Only getting the one goal. I'm kind of concerned about that. Hopefully, we can uh, Hopefully we can continue on being the team we were in the last couple of months. 2016 hasn't been that nice to us to put up four goals, but we're losing games. This month has been not kind to us at all. Not at all. Our HL team's doing pretty good. Another 2-1 loss. The lack of goal scoring is just ridiculous. We're falling apart here, boys. We are falling right apart. We're falling apart quick. Come on. Up against Toronto. 3-2 uh, win. There you go. Finally got a home and home here against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Now let's go to the OHL. Scout defenseman for three weeks as well. Come on, boys. Got a home and home here against the Columbus Blue Jackets, 2-0 and a 5-2 victory. There we go. Zach Cassian has gained morale. Okay, what's going on here? He's going down. Zach Cassian, I feel like the... Oh, yeah, because you've been put on the trade block, you're not happy. You know what? That's fine. I'm sorry you feel that way. Help us get on track by stepping up in other areas. We need you, Cassian. No effect. What a D-bag. Uh, Lars Eller, the numbers are black and white. We need you to produce. Had a positive effect. You know what? Let's have a look at some potential trade partners for uh, Zach Cassian. You know what, this is kind of be the perfect time to trade Zach Cassian because it's the all-star break. He has a couple of days to get into his new team and we have a couple of days to get our new player back. Uh, you know what, let's see, let's see. Who's a potential trading partner for Zach Cassian? I'm down to trade Zach Cassian, I really am. Uh, before we do that though, let's check out the statistics here. We're fourth in our division. Our division's sick this year actually. We have a lot of tough opponents. Points wise, Max Patch already 35 points in 50 games. Didn't he have around that last time? You know what? I'm looking at the last episode and I'm not seeing a whole lot of production out of the team at all. Alex, Alexander Seven has one goal in 11 games. Pacioretty has four points in his last 11 games. 
Placanic has uh, five points in his last 11 games. PK Subban's only got four points. We're falling apart here, guys. Cassian, where's that Cassian? Cassian's got four points. No one's been really lighting it up at all. Maybe a trade is the best option. Maybe getting Zach Cassian out of here. He's a minus four. Uh, maybe getting a better third liner is the option. No one is really producing, and that's why we had a really slow month, actually. Let's look at a trading partner for Zach Cassian. We'll put him on the block. Um, I want to make a trade right now. We need a shake up in the room Zach Cassian he doesn't have that great of trade of trade value at all but let's see uh, what players we can get back like would a Chris Versteeg be you know he's a, he's a vet he's got a cup eight goals 16 assists you know maybe a player like Chris Versteeg wouldn't be a bad option uh, he's a, a vet he can play on the third line is he listed as a third line and probably has a third line scorer yeah a third line scorer uh, maybe Getting someone like Chris Versteeg wouldn't be terrible. What's his cap like? That's actually not that bad. Chris Versteeg, what's your cap like? Uh, two mil for one year. So it's 2.2 for one more year. We could definitely keep Chris Versteeg in the uh, in the talks. How's our trade value add up? It's pretty identical. The trade would go through. You know what? We'll uh, we'll have a look around the NHL. Let me just have a quick look here. Um, looking at players around this area, like Scott Hartnell, again, wouldn't be too bad. He probably says a second liner, though. Yeah, he's a, a second liner. He's not really a third liner. And, I mean, his trade value, it adds up. It wouldn't be bad, Scott Hartnell. But I wouldn't want to play him on the third line. That's the thing. Um, but we could move DSP down and have Scott Hartnell. That might not be bad. That might not be bad at all. Lance Boma would be kind of perfect. He's 85. He is listed as a third liner. Who's a lot of good players out there. 2.2 for the next three years. You got the physical category that I like. I really like Lance Boma. I really like this. There's a lot of players actually who I'm interested in. This is not going to be easy. We get Andrew Shaw as well. He's 84. He's got the elite potential, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but Chicago would probably never trade Andrew Shaw. He's way too important to them. Marco Dano, he's listed as a third line scorer. He's got the potential. Uh, he's been traded around a bit. He was in the trade, obviously, that brought um, that brought Brandon Saad over to Columbus. But uh, Colorado, I really like Lance Boma. I really like Lance Boma. Alex Tangay, too old. Iggy, no, we don't want to get Iggy. Uh, we could get Iggy, actually, but not for the third line. He's a top six guy. He's a guy who's going to get you 25 goals. Uh, honestly, who else could be available? Florida, I don't know who Florida has for depth forwards. Uh, Petri... Riley Smith, we could snag. Uh, Kulikov, no. Honestly, I think I'm going to go back and look at Calgary and Lance Bo Lance Boma. Jason Zucker, he's a lot of good players out there. Holy crap. Third line scorer, eight goals, 20 helpers. Uh, Jason Zucker looks really good. He is still how old is he? He's pretty young, right? He's only 24. Uh, we could get Jason Zucker, 84 overall. You know what? I've had a decent look around the NHL, and there's actually quite a few players that we could potentially go after, but I'm honestly pretty sold on uh, Lance Boma from Calgary. I'm pretty sold on him. He looks like a perfect player to fit on our team. I think the trade value is pretty even. Uh, Lance Boma, they're both pretty young. He's got one year left on his contract where Lance Boma has three. We're, we're going to take on a little bit of cap, but again, it's not the end of the world. He is going to be a guy who is going to allow players like Jacob De La Rose to perform. And Zach Cassian, again, not really the guy that we need right now. Hopefully he does well in Calgary if he if this trade goes through but I'm pretty happy with putting a right winger for a left winger I'd be pretty happy if we got this trade straight up we might have to add a pick or something but Lance Boma are you coming to Montreal uh, trade rejected okay so they weren't even happy about that at all let's add a pick let's add a uh, let's add a draft pick here let's add a fourth maybe let's add a, let's add a fourth round pick a fourth and a fifth would a fourth and a fifth go through maybe they're not too happy about that let's give a fourth and a fifth will that trade go through trade it accepted I'm happy to accept this proposal on behalf of the Calgary Flames we consider it a done deal so players weren't happy that Cassian got traded whatever no one liked him in the room anyways uh, and we've actually gained morale more people were happy than upset that we traded Zach Cassian so I am definitely okay with that uh, he's a grinder I'm I'm very very okay with having Lance Boma there so uh Placanic, no 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 we 
We definitely want you there, uh, you there, Weiss up there, and then Tori Mitchell in the middle with Weiss and Jacob De La Rose there. Oh, look at Galchenyuk. He's now an 88 overall, so he's getting right up there. We're definitely going to keep him on the first line. Hopefully, adding Lance Boma will, uh, will increase our goal support. Hopefully having a new player there will uh, will get the morale up, but we'll put him on the PK as well. I definitely want to have Lance Boma on the penalty kill. Uh, PK, Boma, La, no Mitchell. We don't want Placanic on the penalty kill. We definitely do not want Placanic on the penalty kill. We want a player like uh, Deharnay on the PK, and then we want to have uh, Lance Boma. So I'm going to put get Tori Mitchell out of there. Lance Boma on the power play change in the current line. There you go. Lance Boma's getting PK time. There we go. So we got two player meetings and uh, we got some stuff to go after here. So, all right, Alex Galchenyuk, the 88 overall guy. Trading away Zach Casting was a tough pill to swallow. You know what? You're going to like it. It's going to be totally fine. It's going to be way better for the, the locker room. We'll be better off in the long run, though it might not seem like it right now. Work with us, trust in us. Look, I like the trade. Look, I think a trade will make us a better team. I need you to understand that. It was a hard decision. You know what? We're going to be firm with it. I wanted to trade away Zach Cassian, and we would be better off in the long run. Hopefully, you understand Galchenyuk. Whatever. He was not very happy about that. His, uh, his, he went down. His morale went down. Whatever. It's going to be fine in the long run. Being traded is always a hassle, but I'll rebound. I always do. We know you can bring a lot to the table, which is why I traded for you. Go prove it. I think it was a, a fair deal with that trade so don't let me down you know what i'm going with this one go prove it go on the ice go prove it right now and let's get our first game with lance boma underway uh we need to get some goals we definitely need to score some more goals here uh, all right let's go up against the philadelphia flyers our first game with lance boma uh let's go first period zero zero period number two uh one nothing vanilla cavalier where's our goals come on guys period number three there you go we score a goal pk suban and sends us into OT. In OT, in a shootout, we get the winner. P Thomas Placanic scores the shootout winner. Uh, Lance Bone was happy. He's being dressed. That's fine. Uh, let's go here. Let's go. We're 31, 19, and 3. 5 2 win against the Buffalo Sabres. 5 2 win against Edmonton. We're winning games. We're undefeated. Ooh, we got a trade here. Uh, third for Rutu. Okay, let's see here. Uh, but we're undefeated since we've acquired Lance Boma, so that's not too bad. Fournier and a third for Twon. Momo Rutu. He's a third line scorer, it looks like. Sorry. A He's a third line checker. Uh, do we really need him? No. And I don't want to give up a third. I'm going to say uh, no to that one. Thanks, but no thanks. So far, we're undefeated and we're scoring some goals. Holy. Five goals, five goals, two goals, and then six goals against Tampa Bay. Best team in the league. We stomp all over them. Six to one. Holy. All right, we've got three players to meet with here. P.K. Subban, yeah, you're fantastic, buddy. You've been nailing lately, but you can still do better. There you go. Had a positive effect. Andre Markov, uh, front office making a lot of good decisions of late. That would be great. Put it on the ice. There you go. Had a negative effect. That didn't make him happy. Patches is now at 89. I think the team is really gelling, and it is showing on the ice. Uh, I agree. Things have been going very nicely for us right now. There you go. Had a positive effect. That made him happy. Dale Weiss now a presence in in the locker room. You know what? I'm happy that we are winning some games. We have, we're yet to be undefeated since acquiring Lance Boma up against Buffalo. 9-1! Guys, this was the key. Lance Boma was the key. Look at that. 9-1. We're scoring some goals. 34-19. and 19. You know what, guys? The locker room chemistry is up. I have never been happier. This is, this is just great. That's fantastic. How's our HL team doing? They are currently 27-16 and seven. That's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see how players are doing. 9-1. We're putting some goals in the net. There you go. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Pacioretty, 50 points in 56 games. He has just put on a clinic. Holy crap, has he ever put on a clinic. Uh, the last couple games have been unreal for Max Pacioretty. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk as well. Holy shit. We've been putting up some numbers, boys. Alexander Semin has uh, 20 goals now, 37 points. This is exactly what I wanted from the team. 
Placanic, Brendan Gallagher, Andre Markov. Making the one move really helped, I think. I think it really helped. Uh, how many points did Lance Boma have before coming over? I forgot to check. Can someone check that for me? And how many points does he have in the last, like, I think it was six or seven games? Uh, Lars Eller, there you go. Can anyone tell me how many points uh, Lance Boma had? Because it actually, might actually show in his career stats. Uh, no, it doesn't say which team he was with. But I don't think it was too many. I think he's had quite a few points. That's pretty good. Uh, but there is your team, and then goaltenders, obviously Price, uh, he's got the seven shutouts, having a fantastic year, 31 and 15, Tokarski is three and four, how's the HL squad doing? Uh, Zach Fakali is seven and seven, he is now a 72 overall, Condon looks like he's not doing too bad since having the role as the AHL starter, how's everyone doing in the AHL? St. John Icecaps looks like Houdin has the, uh, looks like Charles Houdon is leading the way, but Hall away. Where is my boy? Uh, where is he? Nikita Sherbeck. Nine points in this last 23 games. So we're doing just fine, guys. That one trade really helped out. The that trade really helped things out. That was, that's been fantastic. How many games has it been since we traded him, actually? Uh, we're undefeated, so it's been one, two, three, four, five, six games in a row, and we have put up some numbers. We put up 29 goals in our last six games. That is incredible, guys. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Things are looking up. We'll probably push towards the end of the regular season, get the trade deadline done. Probably go all the way to the... Um, we'll definitely get to the trade deadline next video, and then if there's anything you guys want me to do, if there's anything you guys think we should do before the playoffs, please let me know. But there is how your team is looking. Lance Boma, what a beauty. Uh, uh, but there it is, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.